All right, so I'm sitting over here, over in my own little world, all by myself, not paying attention to what time it is, and we started late. <laughs> so let's get loaded in here real quick. Uh, how is everybody's morning going? Well, I guess it depends on what time zone you're in. So morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time you're in, how are you doing today? Are you doing all right? Are you doing meh? How's everybody doing? Why do you always get stuck on creature resources? I don't think it's actually creature resources. I think they just stick these in here. Just to, uh... Yeah. So that there's something to be said or seen. Okay. So, we need to talk to Angar. Tahar, ready to discuss the next steps? Yes. There's just one thing I still can't wrap my head around. How did Lacane become so powerful? How could he rally so many people behind him? <sighs> the big question, isn't it? In the end, I think it boils down to the fact that he poured salt into the wounds the Mage Wars had left in Nortander. You see, it's not hard to rally people behind you if they are desperate enough. He just gave them a simple answer to a complex question. And the people believed him. Though I don't consider him a pragmatist, he really believes in what he says. That Aenya will return once mankind has repented. Which worries me even more. There is nothing more dangerous than fanaticism fueled by magical power. Your father is the best example. I want to talk about Sentenza. His death. Well, what is there to say? As I heard the story, he didn't leave you much choice. So you're not angry? For you defending your life? No. I never understood why he was so obsessed with hunting you down to begin with. But he was acting on your orders. Well, yes, strictly spoken, he was. You were a traitor. Or at least, that's what we thought back then. That witch hunt in Iskander, the battle at the Eye, that was his choice. Why? Why did he want me dead so badly? Well, I can only guess. But to me, it seemed as if he felt as if you had... I don't know... betrayed him. He always spoke highly of you. Did you know that? At times, it almost felt as if he considered you his own kin. I thought so. Hmm. You see, Taha, in the end, both he and I are men born from war. Seeing people die at your command, Hearing the widows and the orphans cry as a result of your choices, it changes you. You need to find a way to deal with it. And Sintenza did so by shutting off his emotions entirely. Or, at least, to the outside. But in the end, he always did what he thought was best for Nortander. He saw the Harbinger's true face, even before he revealed it. And I brushed it off as his usual distrust towards anyone, which was, as you know, a fatal mistake. And who knows, maybe if I had listened, it would never have come to this. Without the Harbinger, I'd be dead. That's true. But this discussion isn't leading us anywhere to harm. You didn't tell me yet. How exactly did you get here? Weren't you in Greyfell when the Harbinger took over? No, I wasn't. Otherwise, I wouldn't be standing here. But we were on our way back the night it happened. As you can imagine, it was a hard choice to make. But eventually, I left my pride behind and realized attacking Greykeep with the little division I was traveling with would have been suicide. So you fled? We retreated. The rest is simple. We went to Iskander because we had heard the rumors about your army. There, we met one of your scouts, and then the Elven Woman. Area of Finon Mir. Oh, she decided to let you in? Correct. You know the rest. Your people were a bit distrustful at first, and I don't blame them. After all, they'd been fighting the Royal Army not too long ago. But eventually, they realized that we are on the same side. I hope that we are. We are. Trust me. All right. Let's discuss what comes next. I'll go get the others. Good. Good. 
Now that you're all here, I'd like to plan how we proceed. As... Tahar, I think you should allow yourself some more rest. You were in a coma for more than a month, and we still don't know what that melding actually did to you. Isn't it obvious? It made him more powerful. Yeah, but where does that power come from? What effect does it have on the human body or the psyche? We don't know. It doesn't matter if I'm all right or not. We can't waste any more time. <sighs> Fine. Then go on. Thank you. So, our objective is clear. We need to defeat the Purity of Light and save my mother. Angar, am I right to assume that Lacane made Greykeep his new base of operations? Correct. It's the center of his power, which is both good and bad. It's bad because Greyfell was built to withstand any kind of ambush. And why is it good? Because it also means if we succeed and reconquer Greyfell, we'll cut off the snake's head. Once we kill Lacane, the purity will fall. However, there's no point in fooling ourselves. That battle for Greyfell will be bloody. And if we want to have even the slightest chance of winning, we need to join the remaining houses. Ultran, Hallet, and Wolfgar. Yes. If we put this army together with theirs, we might stand a chance. Also, you should see if you can strengthen the alliances you already have, Tahar. I have a plan regarding that, so we can talk further once this meeting has been concluded. So do I. All right. So where do we start? It's up to you. But before we can even think about arranging a conclave between the houses, we need to break that spell the Harbinger put on my sister Myra. Isgrim, any ideas? Uh, actually it should be simple. We need to find the one controlling her, take the rune, and, well, destroy it in the forge. And who is controlling her? What if it's the Harbinger himself? I doubt it. The manipulator has to be physically close to his subject, so it'll most likely be someone in Lady Myra's army. But your rune will react to another rune's presence, so once that person is near, you'll feel it. Good. Then I have a plan. The Harbinger has taken up position in Iskander, between the Utran and the Everlight border. You know that place, Tahar. It's where your father started his rebellion, and where Sentenza almost captured you. The Loyalist camp. So what's your plan? We strike in full force and take the castle. He'll be forced to initiate a counterattack, and my sister's armies, the Utran army, will be the closest ones at hand. A bait. Yes. We hold the castle against the main army, whereas you, Tahar, and a small troop get behind enemy lines. You find the rune carrier and strike from the shadows. Obviously, you'll have to act quick. We can't hold against the entire Utran army forever. What if killing the rune carrier won't break the mind control? <sighs> we'll just have to hope that doesn't happen. All right. So we take over the castle, wait for the Utran armies to cross the border, sneak behind their lines, and eliminate the rune carrier. And once Lady Myra is freed, we will try to gain the support of House Hallett and House Wolfgar. Yes, though we'll need to take care of something else before that. But let's discuss this when the time comes. Agreed. One more thing. This will be dangerous. And our original mission has been completed. In other words, if any of you are thinking of leaving, now is the time. Well, then we best get prepared now. I'll tell you when we head out. Understood. Tahar, I'd also like to talk with you if you have a moment. Corporal Tahar, a word if you will? Who are you? Private Miller, Corporal. I'm from the Royal Army and came here with the Lord Marshal. We've captured someone who we suspect belongs to the Purity. He was seen in the deserted village outside this... city. And he looks suspicious. He claims to be a simple courier sent to deliver a message to you. But we didn't want to take any risks. He's outside, near the entrance to the caves. I see. Thank you, soldier. Dismissed. Corporal? Hmm... A new quest, Olive Branch. All right, so we need to talk with Angnar about reinforcements, or the Wayfarers. We need to talk with Gore about reinforcing the file wielders. Uh, we need to talk with Iana about how to reinforce the Morhir troops. Morhir would be the elves. And then we need to interrogate the messenger in Mulandir. All right, uh, let's talk to these. Interesting. Actually, let's talk to him first, just mm -hmm. in case. You said that you have an idea on how we can get more allies to fight the Purity. Yes, I do. It's someone you're already familiar with. 
At least, according to your friend Iria, the Iron Falcons. You want to convince them to join our troops? Not all of them, obviously. The Field Dog are an even greater threat than the Purity, even if most people nowadays have almost forgotten about them. What I suggest is that we strike a bargain with them. They give us a small division of their elite keepers, and we provide them with twice the amount of footmen and maybe engineers to make up for it. Engineers and infantry for a handful of knights. Is that really worth it? It is. The Falcons aren't only excellent fighters. Their presence will also inspire our soldiers. They're living legends. All right. It's worth a try. When do we set out? Whenever you want. Thanks to these godstones, it won't take us long to get there. So I'm not expecting this mission to cost us more than a day, two at most. We should probably take some troops with us, just in case the canyon is still unsafe. Fair enough. I'll let you know when we go. Good. All right, Gore. You said you know where we can find more allies. Ah, uh, yes I do. I'll make it short. The Ash Reavers have invaded the foot of Bargagor. If we defeat them and their leader, like we defeated Krell, their soldiers will join us. So, we head back to Bargagor and defeat them. Sounds simple enough. Well, yeah. Except for one thing. Kagan, the Ash Reavers chieftain. I think this invasion is about more than gaining new territory. It's personal. He despises me. And that's putting it lightly. Why? Because you killed Krell? <laughs> no. It's more complicated than that. Do you remember the story about my trial? About... Rain? Yeah, I do. You took the shapeshifter's trial together, and she sacrificed herself so that you could live. Yeah, she did. Uh, to get to the point, Kagan is Rain's true brother. To this day, he thinks that I killed her. I see. And that's why he invaded Bargagor. It must be. Bloodthirsty as the Ash Reavers are, there is no reason for them to start a war with the Fire Wielders. Especially now that we unify them. He must have heard that I'm behind this. And that rekindled his hatred for me. In other words, we need to stop him. And as fast as possible. According to one of my sources, the Purity is also planning to start an attack on Bargagor. The Fire Wielder should be able to hold them at bay. But not if they have to wage war against the Ash Reavers at the same time. So what's the plan? Return to Bargagor, drive back the Ash Reavers, and kill Kagan? If all else fails, yes. We will kill him. For the sake of my people, and for our cause. But he's Rain's last living kin. So I want to first try reasoning with him instead. There must be a way to convince him that I'm not a liar. That I didn't kill his sister. All right. I'll tell you when we head out. Yes. Chieftain Zar already left before you woke up to get an idea of the situation. I know time is sparse, but we should leave as soon as possible. And thank you, Tahar. I appreciate it. So, I'm not entirely sure that, uh, I need to connect this to the other one. Uh... Now would you look at that, that? We actually have a time limit. <laughs> we haven't so far, so why would they impose one now? And they shouldn't. So let's go outside. Let's talk to the messenger, and then we'll talk to Iana. And we'll see what else is going on. All right. Well, this load is taking a little bit longer than usual. And by a little bit longer, I mean quite a bit longer. OK. 
Come on. <laughs> Alright, there we go. What do we got in here? Eskrim and the remnants. Okay. So that's Iana. Over here is where I want to go. So let's join you guys. Yes. And let's get over here. Let's see. Oh, great. Another one. How often do you want me to tell you? I'm not a spy, and I'm not with purity. I... Wait! You're... You're their leader, aren't you? Corporal Tahar! Yes? Well, then maybe you can tell these fools to let me go. <sighs> Blazes, I knew it was stupid to take that job. So, who are you? And what were you doing in Farland's Hope? As I told this bloody brute who captured me. I'm just a courier, and someone paid me to deliver a message to a Corporal Tahar. I had no idea it was THE Corporal Tahar, and had I known, I would have told that guy who gave me the job to sod off. Who was it? Well, he, he was wearing a hood, so he obviously didn't want to be recognized, but he had a brown beard, was about your height, and had, uh, I don't know how to put it, a a certain sadness in his eyes. But he didn't look dangerous and paid good coin. So I took it. Hmm. Can I see this message? Oh, finally, someone who asks. Yes, it's in my coat pocket. And no, there's no poison in there to kill you. Let me see. Huh. A meeting in Everlight. From a friend. A, a friend, you see? Can I go now? Yes, go. <sighs> Thank you, Corporal. Thank you. Now, don't get me wrong, but I want to get out of here as soon as possible. Do you think your guards will let me through? They will. Stay safe. I'll try. Bye! See, I wish I could go back through in there. Understood. Wait, can I? Mm-hmm. Nope. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's join these two. It'll make just make travel a little bit easier. Hmm. So much faster. Ah, Tahar, good of you to come by. Sure. You wanted to talk? Yes. I'll be brief. While you were asleep, an elven messenger came by. Varden Merilith, one of the more here scryers from Leafshade, sent him. Merilith? What did he want? Only that he needed your help. They, that is, he and a couple of his followers, seem to be somewhere deep in the Leafshade jungle, near the Halaish ruins. The old Hibernian city? But what do they want there? That's dangerous. I don't know, Tahar. We will need to find out. Do we really have time for this? That is something you will need to decide. But if we don't help, it might cause unrest within the Moor here, who are fighting for us. All right. We might look into this. We should. Is there anything else you wish to discuss, Tahar? Uh, not currently, no. Uh, let's see here. What other achievements do we still have? Reached level 20, reached max, which I'm guessing is over 20. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we're anywhere even close to being done with this. All right. Let's see if we can't bring more goblin flesh to the king. Uh, in order to do that, we need to stop by Farland's Hope, I believe. Could be wrong. I think it's Farland's Hope. Oh. They're waiting on me to push space. Uh, yeah. Farland's Hope. Let's travel there. I want... Get ready. Yara. Uh, where are you? 
There you are. <laughs> Uram and everything has an end. If we have to switch anybody out, it'll probably be undergassed. Like, if we have to take somebody, it's undergassed that we won't take. If we have to take multiple somebodies, well, then things might get interesting. As we found out when we were doing all the fighting. All right. I we need to go up here, so that would be this one. Yes. Let me see. Mm hmm. Okay, we got all that. <laughs> Commander. Oh, nice. Our army is still here. Or at least part of it. Yes. Hi, guys. Whoa. There's still orcs and whatnot, too. <laughs> Though your legs ache and your stomach burns with hunger, you cannot help but feel a vague sense of anticipation. What's next? I think that's going to take us over by the God King. Yes, it did. All right. I have more goblin flesh for you. Who is this? My strange flesh friends. Did they bring more meat? Ah, yes, they did. Forest goblins, he sees. Good flesh, nice and green. Power will be pleased. So that was 35 Big goblin cake. meat. Found in tunnels, but God King don't need. Now go. Find more meat for God King. More meat for power. God King will give treasure. All right. We've got Potion of Proficiency and Potion of Revival. Okay. Oh, I get to choose one. Uh, let's see here. If we choose Druzzles, I won't use Armageddon. We could get Fire Spark to three. Which wouldn't have a cooldown anymore. Or we could get Fireball to three. Which duration of weakness is doubled. It actually weakens them. I Yeah, I think we're going to go with that potion. And we're going to give it to Druzzle. Drink. Uh, let's go with Fireball. I just have to remember that I can switch over whenever I want to. What? Who is this? My strange flesh friend! We still have goblin flesh. Did they flesh. bring more meat? Ah, yes, they did! Mmm. This flesh good. Very good. God King likes. Power will be pleased. Dark beyond will not. God King thanks. <laughs> so there went 35 God more. God King very happy. Strange flesh people friends. Again. God King has treasure. Bring him more for final treasure. All right. So we can go with a potion of empowerment or a potion of revival. Uh, empowerment does what? Created to boost the physical attributes of the Iskander battle mages. All right. So that would be what? An attribute point? Yes. An attribute point. <laughs> Um, with dex-based weapons, except the staff is not a dex-based weapon. It's a nothing-based weapon. So, we're going to go with Constitution. And I do believe I still have... I have eight. I don't know if eight is enough. Who is this? Huh. Uh, what's this? 
devour meat. <laughs> Why bring? God King does not like. No. Away. Interesting. I think I needed 35. <laughs> we'll have to remember that the next time <laughs> we go to do this. <laughs> we need 35 goblin meat. All right. Because, yeah, we couldn't get to the map from there. Yes. Whatever's necessary. Huh? They will fall. Whoa. Hmm. All right. So where did these guys come from? Child's play. Fair enough. Let's do this. Oh, you're huh. serious about this, aren't you? Apparently, there's still stuff that we hadn't gotten yet. Now, would you look at that? You've read my mind. Let us make this quick. There's still stuff Easy. I haven't gotten yet. Let's see what we can do. I thought it wasn't supposed to have a cooldown. Whoa. What was that? And how and why are there still goblins here? Come on, Tahar. Sure. All right. Really? You can't activate this? Interesting. Let's that see. That is interesting. This is very interesting. Got it. That was weird. <laughs> All right, there's one more thing up here, and then we'll pop out to the world map and get to a new area or an old area. Now, would you look at that? Great Axe of the Chieftain, bottom of the head. Of course. Hmm? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Sure. Well, that works. Hmm. I will do as I must. All right. Well, apparently there's still more stuff we'll here. Do. Finally. Okay. Just give the Corporal. word. You have my attention. So, what's the plan? Corporal? So the four of you are one. Yes. As you require. There's going to be more stuff back here. So let's go. Fall. Leave it to me. At least, I think there's going to be more stuff back here. Easy. Yep, there's more stuff back here. Wow. Interesting. How did we not loot these before? Or are they just new? No, they're they're let us make this hmm. quick. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, I think there was something Pathetic. in here, wasn't there? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Uh huh. No, there wasn't anything in there. Okay. Well, I really feel like scouring this map again. 
<laughs> Just because of all the stuff that we've found. The other stuff, I should say. See, I don't th see anything, but that doesn't mean anything. How are you all active? Huh. Alright, well, let's go out to the world map. Let's, uh... What's next? All right. Apparently we can't go to the world map while we're spread out. That's different. Um okay, so who do we want to go get? I'm thinking the humans. To guarantee that we have the humans, which would be down here in Aeonir's blade. Um Yeah, I think we go get the humans. So we have to take our undeer. Child's play. All right, here go. I have a, I had a feeling we might have to do that. Which is fine. We can take care of that. All right. We Here got? we are again. At least with the Bloodburn gone, the undead should be less of a problem now. What do you mean? The Bloodburn didn't just kill the living, it also woke the dead. Interesting. Well, let's head to the fortress. I'll do the talking once we get there. Okay. So, what's the plan? Fine. The plan is again to scour the entire map because <laughs> we have more stuff to get. Talismans of Impaired, Superior Potion of Magic Protecting, and Gold. Understood. Let's see. Some kind of prayer circle. Inside you see the words, Salvation. Alright. I'm probably going to do more camera rotation and stuff like that, too. Uh, just to try to see exactly what's going on. Mm-hmm. And I do know exactly where the fortress is. So I do know that we can just teleport straight up there. But I also know that we're not going to. We're going to once again explore the entire map. Because there's more than likely Sounds stuff like again that we need to get. Whatever's necessary. Already seen by yeah, like this. Abomination. Kill it. this. Is that all you can do is whirlwind? What did I give you? Whirlwind, field marshal. Is that all? Is that all? Huh. I thought I gave you more than that. Ooh, ram. Nope, sorry. Well, I guess I only did give you two. So that's a perk. That's a perk. <laughs> Alright, well at least it increases block chance. So there's there's at least that. Alright, Superior Legionnaire's Helmet of Physical Acuity. Cooldown reduce. Sight range reduction is only slight. Now would you look at that? You know, I don't I don't mm -hmm. know how many of these potions we're gonna use. Or the talismans. The um these things. I don't know how many of those we're gonna use. Probably not very many. Anyway, you don't have a helmet. Why do you not have a helmet? Uh, let's do this. <laughs> 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 
Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> sure, that works. Oh, man. I needed that laugh, I think. <gasps> yes? All right, let's go. Uh, down here Got it is. I'll handle it. So I do want to mention that uh, today's live stream is not going to be as long as normal. Uh, normally they're about an hour and a half to two hours long. Today's is going to be Leave about to an me. hour. Total. So we've got about half an hour or so left. Here we go. Easy. Uh, the is it just me or is it a little too quiet here? Mm, you're right. Stay sharp. Of course it's too quiet. Uh, let's see here. Get a whirlwind in here. Well, that's just gonna... Okay, I don't see any loot. <laughs> Can I just, like, blast you? Yep. Well, you guys almost didn't have to go down there. Tower's breath. Bane? Yes. Looks like Lacane has an interest in this place. That doesn't make sense. Aenir's Blade is a bloody wasteland. Doesn't he need the field dark protected as much as we do? Maybe he's even more deranged than we thought. In any case, we should hurry. If the Falcons are under attack, things are worse than we feared. Probably, yes. You are more than likely correct about that. If the Falcons are under attack, it is probably worse than we feared. However, without more loot, there's Let's not see. much we can do. Let's see here. Enchanted leather armor of resistance and more mirrors. I can probably sell the mirrors, too. Okay. There's bodies over here that I don't Where remember seeing the first time. Local climate, sped up decomposition. Okay, so we've seen that... Really? ...notification before. Stay on this side. For the queen! Abominations. Stay away from the... What? You have a chance? You... Interrupt. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Interesting. All right. So there's a spark of the essence. Here we've got a black hood of the seamstress. Oh ho! Uh, Yara, what are you wearing? Plus ten focus. How about plus fifteen? <laughs> <laughs> she needs better robes now. Something like the Betrayer's robes, except she uses white magic, so that that looks a little strange. What am I wearing? A green hood of focus. And channeling robes. Elementalist spells. Yeah, okay. Yes? Alright. Will do. It just looks weird. Pathetic. <laughs> you got it. I know that we are getting close to where we need to go. But again, this is one of those things where I would rather explore the entire map before we ever even get there. Easy. Although we are getting close. Ah! Although we, I think we have to be down here to get there. Okay, so we're just getting close to that. Child's play. 
I don't remember there being water here. I'll handle it. But okay. Leave it to me. Okay. You read my mind. Well. Pathetic. That's interesting. <sighs> there we go. There's where we don't want to go just there. So. Um, we need to go all the way, all the way back down here. All right. Now would you look at that? Well, then let's do it the easy way. So, what's the plan? Do it the quick way. Beautiful. Nice and quick. Child's play. I hear something walking. Either something walking or uh, something burning. I'm not sure which yet. All right, reach out to the Falcons. Yep. All right, here I think goes I'm gonna nothing. have to fight my way through to the Falcons. I was kind of hoping that would be lootable. Fair enough. Again. Let's do this. Okay, is there anything on the other side of this? No. We need to go further down, but we can't until further up here. If I remember properly. All right, here goes nothing. I'm telling you, by the... Hey, help me! Ah, oh, shit. Well. That worked. A mentalist. Tiara's breath. Thank you. I, I was sure they were going to kill me. Well, you're safe now. What happened here? And who are you? Ralph. Ralph Adany. I'm a mentalist from the Creator's Guild in Neverlight. The Deathman and the Bane. They've invaded the canyon, and they are besieging the Falcon Fortress as we speak. Blazes. That's not good. And what about you? What are you doing here? Long story. I think Scalalena is better fit to tell you. We have a camp in the southeast of the canyon. I'll go there right now. You're free to join me if you want. All right. Stay safe, Ralph. Huh. I'll do my best. Hmm. If the fortress is under siege, that camp is probably a good place to make contact with the Falcons. Agreed. Once we have a better idea of the situation, we'll send word to our forces. Yeah, except now I want to go out and come back in with, um... What's his name? Uh, not our healer, the other guy. Because if I have to, I can respec into healing. I'd rather not, but... Plus, he has some healing spells, so we should be alright. Should, of course, being the operative word. Alright, so, instead of Yara... I will do as I, I must. I Undergast. Since Liana's here. I want to see what would happen. Or what is going to happen. <laughs> hmm. Why are we up here? We need to be down here. Alright. So, let's get back over to here. I wish there was a fast forward button. Just to make him move around faster. But there isn't. Oh, let's see here. What is this? Toggle economy view. Okay, right. And that's the overview. That's the big map. Versus the mini map. Even though it's really not all that big. Wow. Uh, he's fast. <laughs> he, he's really fast. That's a little bit insane how fast he is. So much faster than the rest of us. I 
That aura is fairly small, too. Or maybe he just had a straight shot and everybody else had to... No, he's he's definitely faster than everybody else. Mm -hmm. Everything has an end. Yes. We know, Undergast. Everything has an end. Ah. For not, Ander. The new Godstone. They will fall. Okay, so we're at this camp again. Let's see what we can do. You read my mind. Which one's which? That's the survivors. Okay, let's wait ah! on that one for now. Child's play. We should be able to just cross the river. Yep. I will do as I must. And my fire aura stays active. That's great. <laughs> Leave it to me. Whatever's necessary. As you require. Who are they? They don't look like Bane. <laughs> Let's see. Well, well. So you're the ones Ralph was talking about. And it's true. You're here, Undergast. Yes, Lena, I am. <sighs> Unbelievable. Right up until now, I thought Ralph was pulling my leg. Why, Undergast? All those years, I've tried to convince you to get out there, look for wisdom in the world, rather than your books. But you wouldn't listen. And now, all of a sudden, you did? <laughs> Why? That is complicated. And if you wish so, I will tell you, but not now. It seems you and your people are in trouble, are you not? Yeah, we are. So, who are you people? Oh, you're definitely not with the purity, that's for sure. I'd recognize that deluded look right across that bloody canyon. Lord Marshal Angar Arendir. Oh, so you're the King Regent. <laughs> True, now I see it. Though you don't live up to the paintings, if I may say so. Then I suppose this is Tahar, the prodigal child. Pleasure to meet you. Lena, what is the meaning of this? Why are you and these mages here? You know who we are, Undergast, and what we set out to do. As for you, Tahar, I'm Lena, second scholar of the Creator's Guild. Or was, that is. I guess they crossed out my title after I left. We did. Hmm. <laughs> so, why exactly are we here in Aeonir's Blade? And that's a story to fill books with, but I'll make it short. Because some of us were tired of sitting on our supposedly safe little island in Everlight and watching while mages are being slaughtered. A law which, by the way, you ratified, Lord Marshal Erendir. I did what was necessary. Yes, the universal excuse for everything, isn't it? We spent the past year helping wherever we could, but it was a misty war, so to speak. You couldn't tell your enemies from your allies. However, since the cane has gone crazy, things got easier. So now we're fighting the purity. But why here, in Aeonir's Blade? Ever heard of Yura's Ring? You think it is here? No, Undergast. I know it is here. In the first battle with the Field Darg, there was a mage named, you guessed it, Yura. She is one of the main reasons why Eo is still in one piece. She held the Field Darg at bay while the Guardians banished them. Of course, however, it cost her dearly. She gave her life for it. The ring, however, is still here, buried thousands of armwits beneath the sand. We're here to retrieve it. How? It would take years to dig that deep. Well, good thing we aren't planning to dig. In the past moons, I prepared a ritual. Telekinesis, if that strikes a chord. However, releasing that much magical energy is likely to wake up a whole lot of undead. In other words, we can't do the ritual without someone guarding us. Which brings me to my next question. We will help. Shouldn't we at least think on this? No. <laughs> I ask very little of you, but I do ask that we do this. We will help, Lena. That is the first and last request I will ever make of you. <laughs> Thanks, I suppose. Fine. We'll help. Well, wait. I don't want you to risk you and your man's lives for nothing. So let us make a bargain. If you help us retrieve the ring, I'll convince some of our mages to help you in your battle. Frankly, your army has the best chances of winning this war. 
and we could use help. Sounds fair. What's your plan? Actually, it's quite simple. We will teleport ourselves to the ritual grounds and await you there. All you need to do is to protect us while we cast the spell. That's simple enough. All right, we'll meet you there. Thank you. And stay safe, Undergast, will you? So, up here is where we need to do the ritual. Uh, so, we're not going to do that just yet. Instead, we're going to look through the mage's camp and see if there's anything worth taking. Or salvaging. I guess that depends on your... Uh, ethical choices <laughs> as to which one you choose to use. <laughs> Salvage, appropriate, steal, borrow, barter. It's all kind of the same thing. Some stuff you get stuff in return. Some stuff you don't. Um. Alright. I would like to keep exploring before we get our army. I'll handle it. Because I do know that getting our army I'm ready is going to do some interesting things. It's going to kickstart a whole bunch of stuff that we may Pathetic. not quite be ready for just yet. Ah. Hey, look at that. Something we missed. Queen! See, I'm I'm still not 100% sure that we've missed this or if it's new. Elven research schematic barbed partisans. All right. There's also some ah. more stuff up here. Barbed partisans, huh? Boink. I don't even know how to switch between the three as which one's active. How do we do that? So if I want elves to be active. Instead of humans. Let's leave that on elves and see. A vortex orb. And some more gold. I'll handle it. See, I'm not even sure that we had access to this area. Oh yeah, we did. Oh, we did. We definitely did. I don't know why they're. It's got to be because it's our second visit it and time me. has passed. Which tells me that I need oh, to go no, back Tanda. to everywhere and re-explore everything. Everything has an end. <laughs> Yeah, if you remember, this is where we fought a demon. Whatever's necessary. That was fun. That was actually terrifying. I'll handle it. Easy. Well, hello, more stuff. A glisten reflector cannot be stunned. And some more talismans. Let us make this quick. I can actually come up here. Really? Hey, look at that. We'll get to you guys in a minute. You read my mind. <laughs> I didn't even know we could come up here. They will fall. Everything has an end. Well, it is the bottom of the map. Okay. Ah! Oh, nope. Let's go here first. And then we'll go charging into those guys. Once everyone's all grouped up. For no time More of them. This yeah. Graveyard. Um Whirlwind. Let's get a fire spark back here. Uh, we need a heal of some sort. There's Paradox. Oh, I'm going to switch back here. For Fireballs. Child play. Wait, is Underguess? Yes. Oh! Okay. So I know what I need to do. I need to fiddle with some spells for a moment. Uh, we've got Whirlwind and Field Marshal. So, we've got Whirlwind and Field Marshal. 
And if we switch back to one for Uram, we've got Shield Bash, War Cry, and Call of the Elders. So, uh, Shield Bash, War Cry, Call of the Elders. And under Gas, we have Paradox, Retaliation, and Mesmer's Lance. Paradox, Retaliation, Mesmer's Lance. There we go. Now, no matter what set we're in, uh, everybody has their abilities. Let's see what we can do. Did any of these guys drop anything? No, of course not. As Why would require. they? I will do as I must. So is there anything up here then? Uh, Whatever is necessary. No, but I can get to some weird as places. <laughs> Leave it to me. I didn't me. even know we could get up here. They should have put something like way back here that was some silly, powerful thing. Anyway, uh, I believe I am going to end off today's live stream here. I know it's only been about an hour, but uh, I've got several things that I have to get done before four. Uh, one of which is I still have two episodes left. That's going to take an hour. And it's already one, so that would be two. And then I have to go shopping, which could take up to two hours. It depends on lines and all that stuff. So, yeah, I am going to head out and get all that stuff taken care of. So I hope you folks enjoyed this live stream. Uh, you can catch the VODs over on YouTube if you miss them. Um, links are all down below. I've got Discord. We've got pretty much everything. Everything is either down below or in a video description over on YouTube. Uh, so I hope to catch you folks in a future episode or live stream. And stay frosty out there.